Yo, 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 yo. I've got the Pulse Hub all set up, connected. I wanted to make a video of how I did it, and hopefully uh, this could help others who uh, have made the purchase and are now setting it up. So one thing I wanted to show right off the bat, um, uh, in the last video I never mentioned uh, some of these things. Uh, you've got different ports here. So you've got your first one is your power port, which is simple. Your next one is your, your main sensor. So this is where you put your, your lines, all your connectors. Um, uh, you've got your uh, button and then you've got your setup port. So any sensor, new sensor that you get, you'd have to throw it in your setup port before you can put it on your main line port. So what I've done here is I put a T right off the, uh, right off the bottom. And this allows me to run one full line up to my flower room, one full line to the Twitch Grows. What I've done here is the main VPD humidity temperature sensor is over here in the room, which is quote unquote my lung room. And then I have the soil and moisture sensor right there in the side of the pot and the Twitch Grows. I burnt some holes through the pot and I just stuck it right there in the middle. And again, I just threw a T here on the end of this run, so it allows me to run two sensors right off here if I wanted to. So if I wanted to put, uh, say, a pH sensor in that reservoir, I could. Uh, so that's super, super awesome. So right now on the Twitch Grow setup, now, now we can see the moisture, we can see the temperature, and we can see the soil EC, which is really, really cool. Uh, back up to the hub unit. Uh, I will go upstairs and I'll show you the whole dashboard and stuff, which would be uh, pretty cool for some. Again, so off the bottom of the T here, we're ripping over to the flower room. And what I've done over here on the flower room is I've put the EC sensor in my reservoir and I put the pH sensor. So these are the wires that are coming down. So now I've got live real time tracking of the pH and the EC of this fish reservoir. This is where all of the water from this fish tank goes down into this reservoir. And it's kind of cool to uh, see what the fish poo is uh, producing. And right now it's at uh, 7.5 pH, which is perfect for me. And it's at around 400 to 450 on the uh, PPM. So super, super cool. But uh, that's how I set mine up. Again, two sensors in there, running up. Uh, again, I've got two T's on this one. So it comes off the hub. I threw it up here in my uh, rafter. I've got the, uh, the uh, humidity for the room, pH, and the EC all off the one. And like I said, you can do 12 sensors off these runs. So you could really do, I've got, realistically, I've got the flower room, I've got my sesh lung room, and I've got the Twitch grows on there. So that's, almost, that's three setups right now. I could probably do four, I could, could do five setups, depending on how many sensors you want per setup. Could have some in the uh, the bedroom, which would be kind of cool. But uh, super, super, super simple setup. Every single uh, sensor that you get has this little QR code on here. And what these QR codes allow you to do is inside the Pulse database, which I'll show you, you uh, just like any smart uh, light bulb, smart electronics you get, you got to go into your app, you got to add it. And with this one, you add it by just scanning the QR code on the side of your unit, scan the um, uh, sensor QR code, bing, bang, boom, it's added right to your dashboard. Super, super simple. But now what's awesome is now I've got the, uh, the Pulse One, I've got the Pulse Hub, and I've got the Pulse Pro in here in the flower room. Right there. These ones are almost ready for harvest. And now I've got, I've got every type of humidity control, database, everything that I would ever want to need to be able to perfectly control my grow, to be able to put everything exactly how I want it, all the parameters exactly how I want it. But uh, yeah, that's just how I ran my wires. Uh, I don't know the max length of wire you can run off of the pulse unit itself. I just know that you can do the 10 sensors. So I have right now, I have a, I think that's a 10 foot and a 10 foot off of it. So super, super handy, like I said. But uh, I'll pause the video here and I'll move upstairs and I'll show you guys the dashboard. So let's go do that. All right, we are now upstairs in the Pulse dashboard. Uh, I, I do have the uh, Pulse Plus, 
which you can see here is just the uh, professional version. It gives you some added little bonuses with the historical data, which is one of the nice ones. Um, but back to the dashboard. Once you've uh, plugged in your Pulse Hub and you've connected it to your Wi-Fi, you've done the whole connecting it to the actual app through your phone, you'll now have something that looks like this. It'll show your number, mine's number 49 Pulse Hub, and uh, here is where you can start adding all of your sensors. So again, if you are on a mobile device with a camera, you'll be able to add your sensors because you need that camera access like I showed earlier with the QR codes. So I have four sensors here. They did just release the quantum sensor. I think it might actually still be on pre-order, but these are the four sensors they have available right now. So once you've linked up all of your sensors, you can click into each of them here or which is handy. They actually all have their own spot right here on the home page right on the dashboard so you don't actually have to go right in here and click them every time to view them you can just scroll down here and you can see all of your settings so right here is just your normal uh, temperature humidity vpd sensor that is the one with the orange cable i showed you this is the soil temperature and soil moisture the one that's in the pot this is the ph and this is the ec both these are in the reservoir you can see i've got the pulse one in the greenhouse and in the bedroom slash virtual grow and i've got the pro in the flower room and like i said earlier the amount of data points i now have as you can see all these little graphs that it's creating all of this historical data allows you to see everything about your grow and if you had a perfect grow you can go back and you can see what i did what was all the different uh what was my moisture what was my ec what was all this what was my humidity my vpd uh, as you can see, some of my things are way out of whack right now just because uh, the uh, temperatures and the storms going on outside. Uh, but anyways, back to uh, the different sensors, back to the actual hub. So once I once you get into the sensor here, this is just your uh, the normal uh, one with the orange cable like I was mentioning. You can see all of your data points right here, and you've got your chart up to one year because I have that plus, right? So as you can see, I've just been testing with it. So you can see the charts all over the place, but this is your one sensor. Let's get to some of the uh, nicer sensors here, uh, the cool sensors here, like the soil one. Uh, you can still see, seeing I've been all over the place with this chart because I've been just testing things. Show you your water content. And then in settings, this is, allows, this is where it allows you to do some calibration. So with your soil, it allows you to uh, uh, select the soil type you're using. So they've already got a couple different calibrations here. So depending on which uh, soil substrate or media you're using, you can go through here. I'm just using mineral soil right now. I'm just try trying to still figure out which one of these fits my soil combination the best with the pro mix and stuff. But anyways, it allows you to calibrate that right there, which is super, super handy. Let's go back to the other sensors with the pH sensor again chart which is super super awesome and then you can go in there and you can calibrate it with the different solutions right on the uh the dashboard again on your windows dashboard or on your uh, phone dashboard the mobile and then back to the last one with the ec and again allows you to do the calibration and all of your data points a lot uh with the data points you can also set alerts so if you wanted to it to text you send you an email uh, when your EC is too high, too low, your temperature is too high, too low. You can do that for everything, which is super, super handy as well. Um, uh, but just basic, basic dashboard uh, run through uh, of the hub. Very, very cool. If you guys are looking for any of these Pulse products, you guys can check them out in the description below. I'll have all the links for these things. I... Uh, I was never into all this data when I first started uh, uh, streaming, when I first started growing. But now that I have it in front of me, it, it is super, super handy, especially when you're away. Peace of mind. You can, you can see all this stuff. And because we have that virtual grow, it's awesome to be able to see it. The viewers to be able to see it, the community to be able to see all this data and put right on the screen like, real time. They can interact with it a little bit more. They can learn a little bit more. It's pretty cool. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, uh, supporting. I hope I covered everything with this Pulse Hub. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the uh, comments. Have yourself a great, great, great day. Peace.
love and cheer.